readings from the greenhouse. Today I am going to hand pollinate these early yellow watermelon. Um, in other videos I have mentioned hand pollinating the squashes, but I have not demonstrated what that actually means. And so I'd like to do that today uh, with the watermelon to demonstrate one method. What you need is some cotton swabs and really all you're doing is the work of pollinators such as bees, butterflies, and moths. You can just get into the pollen and dab dab the pollen of the male flower and then you take that and apply it to the female flower. Let's try that again. Now these watermelon are pretty delicate. What I normally would have done with the squash themselves is to cut the flower, the male flower, and actually take um, off the petals and apply um, the pollen to the female flower that way. But because these male flowers are so, have such a short stem and the female flowers are so delicate, it's seemed safer to use this method instead. So we'll just continue with this little one right here. And try and use as many different flowers, male flowers, pollen from that as is available. And do your best to get as much pollen on the female flowers as possible. Because otherwise that can cause an issue with flowers dropping off if there's incomplete pollination. So the other method that I was mentioning um, is what I would normally do with the squash is to take a male flower and it's, it's fine if it's slightly faded. Um, and I would snip that flower. So I would snip the flower off as so. And then I just have to trim open, trim away the petals. Trim away the petals with some scissors or another sharp object to reveal to reveal the pollen as so. And then I would just take that and apply it to the female part of the flower. Just as if you were dabbing a cotton swab in there. And I'd probably do that with several different male flowers onto the same female flower to ensure that pollination. And then let nature take its course and we get 
something like this happening. You can see the difference in the size. That one is definitely been successfully pollinated. Thank you for joining me for this little greenhouse gardening tip.